recently got a question from a composer who wanted to be able to open all of their wind or brass or percussion tracks in a key editor with one single mouse click. And we could set up conditions like this using the project logical editor. So I'll go to the project menu to project logical editor and we'll choose setup. What we want to do is to define our conditions and then have actions based on those defined criteria. So in the process, we have choices of deleting, transforming, deselecting. I'm going to choose select. And we have an event filter targets area here. And what we want to do is to define the different conditions of what we want to select. So I'm going to click on insert and we're going to say our container type is equal to track. So we want to be able to select all of the tracks and then we'll select all the events on the particular tracks. So we can now select all of the tracks in our project. If we want to further refine our selection, I'm going to come over here, we'll insert and I'll just add five different characteristics here. And we're going to switch these for our filter target to name. And we'll do this for five different names. And we could have the name be exactly matching parameters that we type in, but we may have slight variations in naming. So I'm just going to say name contains and we'll say Piccolo. And maybe the name contains flute. Now we could also type in FLU if that would work for your project. But let's say now I want it to say name contains oboe. And we'll say name contains clarinet. And for our last one, we'll choose name contains bassoon. Now we have different Boolean conditions. So right now we see the Boolean condition at the far right that says and. So at this point, it's going to select all of my tracks that are named piccolo, flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. So if the track contained all of those names, it would be selected. But probably what I wanted to do is to say we want to have our container as a track. It's named Piccolo or Flute or Oboe, Clarinet or Bassoon. So now when we do this, we can run this script and we'll run this preset. And we're going to now see that all the tracks are selected. So if we want to select all of the particular events on the particular track, we can add post-process conditions. So we could say, I want to select all So just kind of type in the command. So say select all on tracks. And then we want to open key editor. And we'll have the, the key editor window open in a different separate window. So now after we select all the tracks, it will select all the events on the tracks and then open the key editor. At this point, if we wanted to save this as a preset, we're going to say save changes as a preset. We'll give it a name. We'll call it open wins. And at this point, I will go ahead and execute. So right now we have a violin one track selected. I'll, so again, we're going to select all of our tracks that contain the name piccolo, flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon, and then select all the events on that track and then open the key editor. So now when I hit apply, we can just come right over here and we can see all of our different wins within the particular key editor 
right there. So if I wanted to switch between my bassoon, the oboe, flute, we can now see all of the different parts. And if we wanted to colorize these by channel or part, we could do that. And we could just select between different events right there. Now to trigger this from a keyboard shortcut, we would just come over to our key commands and we would see under process project logical editor. So we'll scroll down. So we'll see process project logical editor presets. And then we could scroll down and we'll see open wind. And we could assign a keyboard shortcut for that, or we could also in Cubase 12, go to the mapping assistant and be able to assign the functions in the mapping assistant. So you could see that using the project logical editor, we can define specific criteria and, and be able to surgically filter out conditions so that we could get our work done faster. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.